You're watching this video. Your brain cells are firing in anticipation. A story is unfolding. Time is moving forward. Or is it? What if I told you that nothing is happening? There's no story unfolding. The story has already been told. The video has already been uploaded. You're just watching it one second at a time. So there is a story unfolding for you only. What if your entire life was like this video upload, like a DVD? The story of your life is already on that DVD. The only difference is that you don't have a forward and reverse button. You're forced to experience your DVD one moment at a time. There is some strong scientific evidence that this may be the true nature of reality. If so, that would mean that everything you think you know is utterly an illusion. Let's look at what science has to say about this and its profound implications for existence. Coming up right now. Einstein's theory of relativity supports something called the Bloch universe, which is really a four-dimensional space-time structure. This means that every event has its own coordinates, not only in space, but in time. So for example, wherever you are right now corresponds to a location in three dimensions, like London, England, and a location in time, 2 p.m., February 2nd, 2019. But just like the space 10 feet ahead of you is as real as the space 10 feet behind you, so too is the moment 10 minutes into the future and 10 minutes into the past. In other words, the past, present, and future exist just as much as the present. MIT physicist Max Tegmark says we can view the universe as a three-dimensional space where stuff happens or four-dimensional block universe where nothing happens. If it is the latter, he says, then change is really an illusion because nothing is changing. It's all there, past, present, and future, like a DVD. A drama may be unfolding in the movie recorded on the DVD, but nothing about the DVD itself is changing in any way. We may have the illusion at any given moment that the past already happened and that the future doesn't yet exist and that things are changing. But the only reason we may have a past is that our brain contains memories of the past. If we did not have any memories, would we have any sense of the past or a sense of time at all? Is it possible that time doesn't actually exist except through our perception of it? Physics doesn't help us when it comes to this arrow of time. It is time agnostic. If time was running backwards, all the equations would still be valid. So mathematically, physics does not say that time goes forward or backward. It just says that time cannot be zero, but it can run either forward or backward without violating any laws. Time is symmetric. John Barber, a British physicist, describes time as a succession of pictures, a succession of snapshots. To Barber, change is real, but time is not. Time only exists because change is taking place, he says. But this is counterintuitive. Reality seems to be telling us that time does exist and that its arrow points in only one direction, forward. Why doesn't the arrow of time flow backward if physics says that it is equally likely? It would have been possible if it were not for one aspect of physics and that is the law of entropy. You see, entropy always increases. Entropy is a measure of the disorderliness of the universe. Things always get more disorderly. You can scramble an egg, but you can't unscramble it. This is entropy increasing. Entropy appears to be the only reason the arrow of time is what it is. But why is entropy always becoming higher? Why doesn't it become lower? There doesn't appear to be any fundamental reason for that. Alan Guth, professor at MIT who pioneered the idea of cosmic inflation, may have solved this riddle. He argues that information and entropy are almost the same thing. In order to know your past, you have to form memories. Adding memories means adding information. Adding information increases entropy. Therefore, a conscious system can only be conscious in one direction, when entropy increases, which allows information to increase. This implies that we are conscious because we live in a universe of increasing entropy. Consciousness cannot exist in a universe where entropy decreases. This does not mean that there may not be other universes where entropy flows backward and time flows backward. It just means that consciousness could not exist in such a universe. So if entropy has been increasing since the beginning of time, it means that the universe must have started at the lowest possible state of entropy, at the beginning, at the Big Bang. Why then did the universe start off this way and sent us on this trajectory of ever increasing entropy, resulting in a forward direction of time? Again, Alan Guth may have an answer to this question. He says 
that if the universe is infinitely large, then the total potential entropy of the universe is infinite. If that is the case, then any entropy you start with is low entropy, because there's always the possibility of increasing it. The entropy will increase from any given starting point, he says. This means that it doesn't matter what the entropy of the Big Bang was, it would always be the lowest entropy, because there will always be a larger entropy number that the universe can flow to. Physics seems to tell us that time must exist in order for consciousness to exist. It seems that we are here not despite time, but because of time, because of causality, because there was a beginning. And subsequent to that beginning, a huge passage of time has allowed atoms to form complex molecules that have resulted in life, which has subsequently resulted in conscious, highly intelligent beings like us that have memories of the past. And seemingly we exist because time has flowed in a favorable direction for causality to occur. Namely, it has flowed forward in our universe. There may be other universes where time flows backward, but consciousness could not exist in them. We are here because time flows forward in this universe. It doesn't have to. But what about the block universe? Are we living inside a DVD? The block universe is allowed in relativity, but what does quantum mechanics have to say about it? Quantum mechanics says that time and space are the background or canvas on which existence takes place. So it does not preclude the idea of a block universe. But just because it is allowed in relativity and quantum mechanics doesn't mean that it's true. We need more evidence. If the universe is a DVD and all of time exists like points in space, then this implies that the future is as fixed as the past. This would imply no free will and super determinism. Do we have any additional evidence for this? Well, one solution to the mystery of entanglement is just such a universe with no free will. See my video on entanglement. So now we have possibly some evidence that seems to lead to the block universe scenario. This doesn't make it true, however. So the jury is still out on this. Physicists' opinions are divided. To many physicists, while we experience time as psychologically real, time is not fundamentally real. At the deepest foundations of nature, the flow of time is not required to construct reality. And if there really is no flow, then the Bloch universe would reveal that all time and all space exists in tandem, and that our fate is sealed inside the DVD of the universe. And we are forced to view it without a remote control, one moment at a time. We cannot fast forward or skip a single moment. We can't reverse it. We might not even like the movie. It probably won't have a Hollywood ending, but it is our movie, and it is the only movie. We better find a way to like this movie. Hey guys, did you enjoy that? Check out some of our other videos. This is what I recommend. This is what YouTube recommends. And if you haven't done so already, then be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Join the conversation. I'll see you in the comments below.